Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Darksiders War Mastered Edition. You might think, why are we at the beginning of the Iron Canopy and not near the boss? That's because, like I said, I wanted to show the, all the consumables. Uh, I by accident went and grabbed all the chests, with it also the consumable that was available in this area. So, it's time for me to go back and grab it. Or actually show where it is. Go to this section, all the way over here. Over there where the angels will fight you. And over there you will see a place where you can hook up. What's in this chest? Let's guess. It's a consumable. Greater rage completely fills all of war's wrath. You can find the next consumable. Now we're going to do this. We're going to load. We can see the, the time spent. And I will see why it's three hours later on this save file. We're here. I have my health back. And look at this. Fully upgraded weapons. Yeah, you, you can neglect the Chaos Healer because you will get the Armageddon Blade, which is automatically level 4. But uh, it was almost level 4, so I thought, what the hell, could I at least get some more souls as well? Because look at the soul count, it's freaking high because I farmed here for 3 hours straight. The whole th deal is to get all this in around 3 hours to 4 hours time is get this legendary enhancements that I've showed you, Wars, Glory, and equip it to the weapon that you want to upgrade. So, the only thing you have to do if you're using Chaos Heater, just use your basic attacks, just spam the axe button. And if it's a Tremor Gauntlet, what I do is mostly this. The Jump Tremor, sh uh, the tremor Smash. And for the Scythe, I do just a normal basic spamming the Y button to get the quickest results. So I will show you how I did it. So let's first lure every enemy conceivable in this area over here and tremor smash. And again. And again. War smash! And once again. And that's it. That's what you're going to do for the coming four hours with all weapons. Or I would think mostly every weapon except Kill Seeder. So he would have a little bit less time invested in it. But yeah, that's that's the whole deal. Whole ordeal to make your weapons all maximum level. Alright, let's get into it. We have to fight Silatha. Nope. Alright, and... Whee! Alright. Over here! We Silitha are at the boss right now. must lie beyond that sticky barrier. We know... We know... Alright, let's save over here. Why do you do that? Because that's something I let's tend to do. This. But over here we have a chest that I don't have to grab because I have full health. But if I die this first time around because I forgot how to fight her, I can always get full health back for the second round. So, time to go. This fight, like all other fights, Mostly wars place all be aggressive. From what I can remember, I will see that scene actually holds true. You honor me with your presence, horseman. There are so many stories about you. You have killed three of the chosen, taken their hearts. Disturbing. Is that why you have come? To slay the final tower guardian, to take my heart. Did 
Prince Samael tell you how he came to bear his tainted blood? Why his accursed power beats within our breast? It is not the tower that the Chosen protect horsemen. Our charge is to prevent Samael's return at any cost. You may kill me and return to Samael with my heart. But in him, you will face a threat greater than all the Chosen combined. Then, I would I like to do that. I did not come for your counsel, Spider. Or oh, your stories. My children will dance to the music of your screams! We actually get to fight Samuel. Oh yeah. Now you see me. You have to use your gut the, the chain. And get it get in her face. Come, come. Shit, 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 shit. Yep. She is really aggressive with just jumping around Don't the stage. It'll be over soon. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, 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 didn't. No, no, no fucking doing that. Hello. I remember why I don't like this boss as much because she teleports freaking so often. But okay, there we go. She is almost, I think, done already. There we go. Uh, the deal to this is, yeah, if you have upgraded everything to plus four like what I have, it's pretty easy like this. But, it wasn't for me the case when I first did it. I felt horribly. Also because I didn't equip Wars Glory Enhancements. Because that legendary enhancement helped drastically. Once I equipped it, I beat the boss the first time I, I fought it. So it comes to show that actually uh, be waiting for the last heart. If, if you find something powerful that is actually reusable, quite quote unquote, then use it. Think he's going to let you live long enough to collect right. on your end? There you go. And let's move up. Because over here there is an artifact. And a chest. Actually, I should all the, go all the way upstairs because there's still a health chest that I need to get. Artifacts? Things? Okay, there we go. Let's go up and then go to Silipa. Or oh, Silipa. We just killed her. I actually fully upgraded weapons against Silipa plus Wars Glory is devastating to be honest. I never would have expected that I would kill her this quickly. Let's heal up because I can. Oh, I can buy so much stuff. There we go. And drop down. So that is are all the chests that I can actually possibly get in this area. There are now some new things that we can grab since we have the abyssal chain. Voila. Let's go. Oh I thought for a second I thought I saw a chest. Oh well. Hmm. 
but since we are already over here, we can actually grab some items. Oh, we're at it! Come on, Rune, you can do it! Here we go! So I think around three or so items are now obtainable in this area since we have the Abyssal Chain. We can get an other artifact. There is a chest that we can get and the Overlord artifact in this area. So, yeah, that, those are some, quite some good things. And the Overlord artifact will actually get us another Wrath Core. So, that's actually quite useful in this moment. Clearly, need to first find where everything is that I need to find, or when, what I need to get. I think I am going to grab... Uh, no, Rowan, go this way. The Overlord artifact first. Alright. We have to get over here. I said... Okay. Again, just wait until it stops and then try it. Or you could try while it's still slowed down. But I tend to... don't do that. Oh, oh that was not... that was bullshit! Okay, there we go. That one was actually bullshit in my opinion. So, oh well. Let's go up a year. We have to get all the way up there again. And now we have the Abyssal Chain, we can swing around to the other platform and open up that drill as well, or stop it. Let's see, what the hell do we need to go again? Over here standing, and... Wait, wait, why the hell do I need to do that? The thing has already stopped, so... It would be quite useless to do. There we go. That is quite easy to do when there's nothing in your way. There we go. <laughs> oh, that slow descent. Oh, that, 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 that slow descent was just, that was just perfect. If I say so myself. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> but this time, equip the abyssal chain. Oh god. Actually, good to know that, that, that the crossblade, I think, can make it, it make it for a slow descent. Whee! I thought... Okay, I think I'm... I misremembered a bit in the other tower, because there's also a Abyssal Armor piece that we can get. Okay, there we go. Let's go down again. Completely down. And jump into this pit. Over here, we should get the Overlord Artifact. Artifact Overlord. This emblem bears the mark of the tyrannical general of the Legion's army. His name has long since been forgotten, but the husk of his formidable strength still lingers within this totem. Return to Fulgum and he will reward you. Wait, how many souls do you think he will give us? It's a thousand for champion, so... Um, 2,000? I'm just taking a guess. Let's see if I'm correct, otherwise it might be 5,000. Just because it's a powerful artifact. But we have to go through here because... <laughs> we have to go through here. Because there's no other way around. Or no other way out. But over there we can grab another item, since we are over here as well. 
I mean, that is a legendary enhancement from Strife. So let's grab it. Shadow of Light and the King. We. And once again. And once again. And once again. <laughs> Oh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Another time. Wee! Hideo, piggy. Hideo. And dead. Oh, these enemies die so much quicker now. Oh, more! Come on! Okay, there we go. Let's get one of them. Okay, two of them down. Alright, I think I'm going to grab the artifact right now. Because I can. There we go. Immunity frames. Yay. Strife's offering. When used, unlocks the mastery of the guns. Of guns. Gravely increases war's effectiveness in ranged combat. Oh. There we go. Last time. I think this is one of the... Is it? How many people actually use Strife's Offering? I know Furies is going to be used pretty often to get all the chests and all the loot that's in, in a specific area. Uh, Death's Offering is pretty useful when used on the, heart, on the scythe itself. And War's Glory is pretty useful on the Chaos Heater. And later the uh, Tremor Gun, because the Armageddon Blade doesn't have a slot and you will automatically get the, the enhancement back that you have used or that you have used on the Chaos Eater. <clears throat> okay, so over here we can go up again and we should, get in, should be close by the other artifact that we are going to grab and the Abyssal Armor Keys. Over... let's see... come on... There! Yeah, there's that thatch. And there's an airborne. Fly up in the sky! Hi, bye! There's a wall that we can climb, so we're going to do that. And grab an artifact. Another artifact. <laughs> and now we're going to go through here. Up there there's nothing, but over here there is. There we go. And there should be an abyssal armor piece right over here. There we go, that makes eight. The ninth one is collectible in the tower, which is the next upcoming area. And the last one is found in Eden after we cleared the area by killing Straga. And jump. I think that one is still that one that latch over there is still uh, Unobtainable yet because of uh, the, sh the Mask of Shadows. But we have all the things that we, I think, possibly could grab. So. Oh, wait, I remember another item. Let's grab all the items as cool as fast. Not as fast, 
It's efficient, see, as efficient. Say the bloody word, efficiently as possible. Jesus Christ, that's. Why is it so hard to say? And um, see. I was over here. Let's see, this should, they're supposed to be. One of those things that we need to use the iron chain on. I'm going to take a look. Where the hell is it? War, go. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that didn't work. I think it's on the other side. Uh, I died. Wait, where the hell am I? I am this side again. I was pretty sure. I think we have to go from the other side. I think this side. It might be not possible to go through or backtrack from it. And my mistake. And I, rem I remember that because it's from the other side. The sides can be quite indistinguishable. Indistingu <sighs> Alright, then uh, we are we have to go to full room anyways. Hello! Okay, we have six artifacts. Okay, uh, I want to see because I want to know how much it pays. I have four normal artifacts, which is two thousand, because five hundred is a piece. Plus two thousand makes three thousand, so we need to subtract three thousand from the total. So it was five thousand. There you go, another wrath core. You are as wise Let's as get this enhancement powerful. and the shredder. An excellent Let's get this, choice. this. You drive too hard, and a friend. Hmm. What would I do? I could go for level four. Or I good for level four for this one. So I'm not going to go for these ones. I think I'm going to go level four this one because this is the most expensive. So yeah, that, there we go. We have a very powerful blade geyser attack. Oh wait, I'm, I'm an <laughs> idiot. I have. I had to go and teleport. Oh, whoops. And let's see. I think we have to go to dry roads first. Because we have to go back to the area to get the artem. Oh wait, I think... Yeah, at the back of it. Look at there. Look at that. We have to go to this place and there is a ref shard over here as well. One. We are at eight. So that means still nine, not nine, seven shards to go. <laughs> All right. There, good. We have to after this go back to Fulgrim and go to uh, Okay, the jailer is here. Bravo, Hosman. 
Even the ash crawling Stygian lies dead. Yeah, yeah. So here's the, the mini boss jailer again. Oh, wait. Okay, that, that didn't win this plan. your own enemies or your own allies. He's dead. And die. Oh, there's this cousin just die when he got killed? Oh well. Let's get on with it. We want to get some more. Sh we want to get some more shards. <sighs> Actually, so that means that I have all the. Yep, I have all the enhancements. Uh, should I? Uh, I could change those to generate. Wrath and Chaos, so, uh, respectively, uh, but I'm not sure if I should, because gaining souls is also something that I could do. But I will see. Here we go. So, over here we should be able to do finally do the thing that we couldn't do before the other side. Let's see if there is... over... There we go. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck off! There we go. And where would we need to jump? Over here. And a ref shard. But I think I can actually show you guys before I do that. The bleed guys are level four. Awesome, isn't it? And my wrath has been refilled. No, it's not. Hmm. And I misremembered that wrong. Oh well. It's just one bar. I have still seven to go. With a level four blade geyser that can kill almost anything. So. I have not much to worry. Now we're going to Anvil's Pass, and... Oh, crud. Wait, what? Wait a minute! Are you saying that we have to go through here again? Alright. Oh, come the fuck on!
and go away like fast and go up and go up and let's get to Fulgrim should be a way to use the abyssal chain. Oh there, there we go. I said the abyssal chain. There we go. We and then health shard. Oh no, wrath. Now oh, that makes uh, five to go. That's good to know. Oh, that was close. Let's go back here. And jump at this portal. Over here there we can have, let's see, our fourth ref shard and get an other complete bar. But we have to find Mr. K. I think I'm going to do that directly next episode. Even the app So I think it will start over here, so you guys have to don't watch that again. I think of all things that we can do there are some stuff that we can grab over in the crossroads and in the choking grounds. Since there is an item in the choking ground, I'm going to this one first. Then I'm going to go to the to the starting area, I completely don't know the name of that. And then we will go to Samuel, get the heart, and get our portal to the tower. And move the story. Alright. I think we can also get a new consumable again. So... That makes a total of seven. Meaning that we have still one to go, but we need a point walker for that. And as an item we can get pretty pretty soon. Bravo, Hussman. Even the ash crawling. Those annoying bitches. Are finally spawning in this place. I don't wanna actually go back. I don't know what what kind of creatures are going to spawn. Oh, even there, they're going to spawn. I'm going to jump down. I don't want to fight you guys. Please don't say that, that this is... Com okay, these are not completely botched by enemies. Which I'm completely grateful for. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, come on. Come on. Die. There we go. Pop your head. There we go. And I'm popping your head as well. I think this chest should contain something. And it is a life essence. Good. 
That's an item we definitely need. Over here there's a shadow orb that we can use. But it's not available since we don't have the mask of shadows yet. But we got the consumable that we wanted, so that means our mission here is complete. The, the, the piece all the way on the top that that we need the mask of shadows for is the Armageddon blade piece. One of the eight pieces to be found in, this, in uh, certain areas. Okay. With that done, I am going to go to Samael because I remember over here we need also the mask of shadows to actually get to a certain area. So let's go over here and end the episode. Let's see. How much of, of the things do we still need? Because I have 7 health. In total, there are 10, 10 health bars. So. Oh, oh. Nope, stop, stop. Don't use your, your stone skin. I have 7 and. I get where, where is it? For turning in all the overlord and soldier artifacts, I get two lifestone chunks. So that means that I still have to get three lifestone shards somewhere else. For the wrath shards, I still need two more bars. One shot we're going to get maybe next episode, if everything goes alright. And... I mean still four to go. I know of two. That I will, well, we will get very late, after we get through the tower. Because we need the, the Voidwalker ability for it. So two I think we get in the tower itself. So, Strider will give us another health. So, yeah, actually, I, th I think in the tower we will find the last bits of uh, things that we need. So, I think we're almost done and almost completed at everything. I was beginning to worry you might not live up to your end of the bargain. Give it to me. You lied to me about the Chosen. They never guarded the tower. What does it matter? How deal was it for ancient history? I promised you the tower. And you shall have it. Did it amuse you to deny me what's rightfully mine? With my powers restored, I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could, but I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one, and revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation, <laughs> well, I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? Don't, don't. We will meet again. 
Well, at least I said that we spawn in the portal. God bloody damn it. Oh. Oh, great. I spawned in the portal. I wanted to go back. I wanted to do things. Oh well. I'm going to end the episode right here. Hope you enjoyed this episode, like always. And don't forget to get your game on. War Smash! <laughs>